is useless going to fight a battle. We must fight internally to regain Nigeria from poverty before we go to fight a physical war. What are we getting from Nigeria that we are going to fight for? So my advice is that Mr. President should withdraw from that issue and see how diplomatic he can handle Niger issue within the confines of ECOWAS and African Union than going for physical combat. Thank you very much. Okay, so if we go into that war, we are going to fund it. Other African countries will not bring their resources. Nigeria will bring their military, will bring their weapons, will bring their resources, will bring their manpower, will bring their money. They need to rethink. Oh. They need to rethink. But the way it is sounding may not be the way it will be. Because when you go into the war, you cannot retreat again. You can't surrender again. You go and uh, if they, they are just like Russia went into the war with Ukraine, they never know that they will get uh, international backings or they will resist them to this extent. So there needs to be diplomacy. Instead of going to a full-fledged war, let them use diplomacy. No, fighting, fighting will not resolve the issue. The, 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 the main thing that they will do is just go and negotiate with them, make peace. That is it. There is no need of fighting. Hello, Kassat families. Well, wherever you are watching us from, are you watching us in Ghana, Nigeria, whatever any part of the world? We are here at this particular moment to ask you a question. What do you think about Nigeria going to war in Niger? Are you in support of Nigeria sending troops to go to Niger to fight, to restore democracy in Niger Republic? Please drop a comment and tell us what you think about that. Please share this video. Your opinion matters a lot. Thank you very much. Honorable Isaac Ikechi. Elendo, a former councillor in other states. Okay. So, I'm presently a lecturer. Lecturer in? In the College of Health, Abba. Okay, no problem. So, 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 I want to say that... Um, so we want to ask you really, considering what is happening right now in, in the world, and especially in West Africa, are you in support of Nigeria going to war in, uh, in Niger? I never but, with, 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 with an understanding that Nigeria is not just the general of Africa, but the chairman of ECOWAS. Thank you. As an adult, as a learned gentleman and as a teacher for 10 years in the field, I think it, it's very meaningless. It is very, very demeaning to the persons in Africa, especially Nigeria, for us to be thinking of going to fight a war we can't finish. The most important thing we're talking now with Rije is that hunger is so high in Nigeria. Nigerians are dying of penury. Fuel is so high. Diesel and gas are increasing every day. So we're going to fight a battle we can't finish. We are saying that the battle that is more than poverty in Nigeria should not be fought for. You cannot go to fight Niger when Niger is a sovereign nation, an independent entity, living our own matters here that is domestic. So my own little advice, a candid advice to Mr. President, is that he must, as a matter of fact, avoid plugging Nigeria into tension we cannot come out from. My candid advice before heavens is that President Tinibu should consider the interests of the masses, should consider the military, the workforce in Nigeria who are going to die for what is irrelevant. It is useless going to fight a battle. We must fight internally to regain Nigeria from poverty before we go to fight a physical war. What are we getting from Nigeria that we are going to fight for? So my advice is that Mr. President should withdraw from that issue and see how diplomatic he can handle Niger issue within the confines of ECOWAS and African Union than going for physical combat. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, finally, finally. Don't you think that Nigeria, as the general of Africa and the chairman of ECOWAS, if Nigeria failed to act this way, don't you think that it will also, it will also rise... It will, no, it will also rise the issue of a uh, mental taking over in terms of coup d'etat, mental taking over in some other African country. That it happened in Mali, could could over and some other country no, in the past. War, don't you war. think that it will result I, to other, I don't other, think other that country way. taking over? Countries Major. cannot take over. We Major were taking over. Yes, no, we are not, not thinking. That is a very wrong perception if we are thinking in that direction. The major thing we are saying that you want to mobilize Nigerian troop, right? Yes. Nigerian troop, Nigerian workforce, able men in Nigeria to go and redeem Niger, Niger from the hands of people who want to take over Niger. What are we getting from that issue? That's what I'm saying. What economic benefit are we going to derive from that fight? What well, I'm saying is that we should forget about that thing. Use diplomacy and roundtable discussions to settle the matter. We are not interested in losing 2,000 workforce here. 
able the young men of Nigeria for Niger issue. It is a useless venture. It is a nonsense arrangement. Tinubu must refrain from this issue. Otherwise, heaven will fight him, whatever we say him. That's my candid advice. Thank you very much. My name is Comrade Ike Nwigwe. Okay. How are you? Okay. There, there is actually tension in Niger right now. So we want to ask you, are you in support of Nigeria joining ECOWAS to send their troops to Niger to fight the war over there? Well, um, you know, Nigeria is the, the superpower in Africa. Or you can say the leader of Africa by all standards. So, but you, before you go to war, you must have to plan and prepare. Um, any war you didn't prepare for, you're only going there to fail. Um, I think uh, Nigeria as a superpower in Africa need to understand the war before they venture into it. Because if it is, if they are not, if they don't prepare very well, it will look like American Vietnam War where America felt they had all the powers. But in the history, um, the American Vietnam War, Vietnam is a small country, but America will not forget that war to the end of the world. So for Nigeria to go into this war now, it's certainly not going to be as it is, because if you look at what happened in Russia and the Ukraine, you think that Russia was thinking that it will be a twinkle of an eye, they will override Ukraine. But look at the resistance which they have had up to now. And if it's not taken, Russia will not come out strongly in that war. So um, this uh, Niger um, war, if you look at what Niger as a people are talking about, you see that though it is military, which is an aberration, but there are, there are substances in what they are talking about. How their um, uh, national resources were mortgaged, even against the generation yet unborn. So the military in Niger, though, like I said, it's an aberration, but there are something salient things they are talking about which need to be considered. Because the uh, Western world will continue to impoverish the Africans and will not allow us to develop. So I think they should be given a time to be able to uh, plan the process of handing over to civilian rule. But while they are preparing to hand over to civilian rules, there are things they are saying which other ears need to hear. And when ears hear it and they are able to get through of it, the Niger Republic, Niger will be a stronger country if they are allowed to manage their resources and their natural uh, uh, gift by God. So that's my opinion is that uh, Nigeria should rethink, this President Federal Republic of Nigeria should rethink before going into the war. Other African countries that say we are going, will only say yes, voting that we are going to war. The people that will fight the war will be Nigerian military, Nigerian resources. And when we, our resources go into that war, you can imagine the today, fuel is 620 naira. So if we go into that war, we are going to fund it. Other African countries will not bring their resources. Nigeria will bring their military, will bring their weapons, will bring their resources, will bring their manpower, will bring their money. They need to rethink. Oh. They need to rethink. But the way it is sounding may not be the way it will be. Because when you go into the war, you cannot retreat again. You can't surrender again. You go and they, if they, they are just like Russia went into the war with Ukraine, they never know that they will get uh, international backings or they will resist them to this extent. So there needs to be diplomacy. Instead of going to a full fledged war, let them use diplomacy. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Opinion about Nigeria fighting war in Nigeria. Are you in support of it? What, what do you think about that? No, fighting, fighting will not resolve the issue. The, 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 the main thing that they will do is just go and negotiate with them, make peace. That is it. There is no need of fighting. So they fail to correspond. Hmm. What do you think? And now you think that the country we should do? As well, of Africa, as Nigeria has been a giant of Africa. Yeah, there is no, there is no way they will not agree. They will agree, and there is another thing they will do. They, they, they will also look for 
um, face of God, face of God first, because anything you do and you act God, they, that thing must go successfully. So instead of them going for violence, they should make peace and resolve the issue. It will be better for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. I surprise. No gikpaza no hagi do tang. Nigeria do to the ta. Ilesa Jova goes rang. Mana ne him do cheche. Put yes redre. Or him and Nigeria down. Or the Wakwana hair gara Nigeria. Hang on him. When him at the time, no cheche. Him my own ogula lazy chinek of here game. Ka udo de no wa. Or that. Mana did or garae bang. Hangatama. On the same in the Hagata Panjo or Panisian bet him maw, no one lays a chinek of your game or one in the Adino to the Nam. They were in the Kuna, in the Kuna, was again and Jirega warm or Hatorega, my daughter, in him to the Roche, Yatar, or to show my name we came up for what them. They were no. Thank you for watching this video. Please do us a favor, drop a comment and tell us what you think about this. Please. Share this video right now. Share this video and tell us what you think about what is trending. Share this video right now and drop a, drop a comment. See you tomorrow by 8 a.m. for more news videos. Thank you.